Shodan is 30 years old. She has been using a traditional stove for cooking and feeding her family for the last 12 years of her life. She starts her day by collecting firewood from the forest. Like Choden, thousands of women all over Bhutan use traditional stoves for cooking, which require high volumes of firewood and generate lots of smoke. Every day, they spend long hours in kitchens full of smoke exposing themselves to respiratory diseases and eye infections. It is estimated that around 70% of the rural population of Bhutan uses traditional stoves. Soon, Shodan's old stove will become passe with UNDP's Sustainable Rural Biomass Energy Project that is implemented all over Bhutan. Funded by the Global Environmental Facility, it is working towards introducing improved varieties of cooking stoves in Trashigong and Jiangong, and will gradually expand to other districts. Overseen by the Department of Renewable Energy and the Department of Forests and Park Services, this project is the biggest project of its kind in the country. To reach out to communities, the project is making use of existing networks of non-formal educators and NGOs like Bhutan Association of Women Entrepreneurs. Present in almost every district and village of Bhutan, the non-formal educators, better known as NFE instructors, are in charge of teaching basic education to adults who could not attend formal school. NFE instructors and technicians from Bhutan Association of Women Entrepreneurs are given a week-long training in the construction of a variety of energy-efficient stoves that prevents indoor air pollution and reduces the use of firewood. After completing the training, the NFE instructors are ready to help households build their own. To make stoves affordable to rural people, the government is subsidizing the metallic components. And if you compare with the conventional, you know, what people anyway use that in the rural areas, I think we are talking over 45% of efficiency. And with that efficiency comes not only the reduction of the fuel consumption, but also the emission reductions, uh, the, uh, you know, due to the use of uh, fuel wood. So with this, I think there's so much of benefit, both at the local level of using lesser wood and having uh, lesser stress on our forest resources, but at the global level, the reductions of emissions. What you see behind me are 62 NF instructors. Uh, we're going to be around here uh, getting trained on how to construct the stores for the next uh, five days. Pima Shuki is a non-formal educator in Kaling. In Trashu Gang, she attended a training to construct improved cook stoves. In Kaling, 17 homes have already constructed an improved stove. Another 13 residents are in the process of completing construction 
and they are proving to be very popular. So far, the project has constructed 170 stoves all over Trashigang. Kitchens free of smoke, having a stove that heats up in less than 30 minutes, or saving heat and time in collecting firewood are some of the benefits of the new stoves. I actually found out that they are able to come up with innovative ideas, uh, you know, despite different buildings, different uh, room settings and all this. Kind of, I'm quite I mean, impressed. Pima Shuki helped Rinzing Wangmo and Karma Lamo to construct their stoves. <laughs> the engagement of NFE instructors has been key to the success of reaching households and create demand for improved stoves. They are really respected by the people and they say it's our teacher. So if you use them as a means to communicate or to reach the program to the people, they are found to be the best one to deliver that. So we are using that and uh, the pilot project that we have uh, implemented under Tashika Zongak, we found it is going very fantastic. By 2015, 13,522 energy efficient stoves will be constructed all over Bhutan under the Sustainable Rural Biomass Project. Improving lives of women like Shodan, Karma, and Rinzin, countering greenhouse gas emissions, reducing the use of firewood, and increasing energy efficiency.